<laughs> Guys, it's January 15th, 2023. It's 10.50 in the morning. It says 36 degrees in the car, but I assure you it's not 36 degrees in the car. It is only 32 degrees outside on the dot. We are getting some snow. It starts, it starts snowing from that last video that I made last night consistently overnight. And I've got to tell you, it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's not as good as I wish it would be, but it is what it is. It's still good. It's been snowing nonstop. It's piling up now. I really wish, as I said, it was more, but that's okay. We'll take it. Cheers. You just gonna cross? I hope we can have a little more fun on these roads now. Unfortunately, this car grips too well. <coughs> Believe it or not, that is a problem if you're trying to do some drifting so I would have to hit the roads a little harder but anyway can't believe I left my other phone in the house that's not good the phone that I use for my business ah oh, this is beautiful this is so beautiful Obviously, I wish it was a lot more. It's going to be more, but this is what I've been waiting for. The traffic is pretty epic in town. I wish I would have showed you guys pulling out of my driveway. I had to, like, literally, like, pull out and almost get hit just to, like, find a way out because no one was letting me in. I was feeling so bad. Anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Once again, January 15th, 2023 at 10 53 in the morning this is just epic this is beautiful gosh i love it hope you guys are all having a great day great i hope you had a great night i had to get a few hours of sleep in guys i really had to but i did i wake up like every hour anyway so i was always looking out the window just to see how things looked and, and this is when I decided to come back out. Alright, we turn right here. Basically, we're taking the shortcut into Big Bear City. I wish I had my phone because it would show me all the traffic too and where to avoid, but I can just assume where the traffic is today. Oh man, this is awesome. This is awesome, you guys. And for those of you who are concerned about using tire chains, call 800 Caltrans and they will give you the most up to date information. That's 800 C A L T R A N S. It's an automated system and they will be up to date all the time for you guys so it's the most reliable source I'm definitely not when it comes to knowing if you need tire chains on which roads I am NOT reliable when it comes to that you got to call 800 Caltrans or download the Caltrans app there's another app that's similar to Caltrans that doesn't cost money the Caltrans app unfortunately I believe does cost money oh look at all these people It's gonna be one of them days. Just one of them days. Tell me, there were so many people on Moon Ridge. I'm, I'm kind of scared to to head back. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna to have to take the main the main route, I guess. Okay, we're gonna turn down Sugarloaf. This is the major shortcut. This is the one that goes all the way through in Big Bear City. 
and we're gonna stay on this for a while. I wanna head up to North Shore from here so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'm scared to go around the lake because of the traffic coming into town. Man, I wish I had my phone. I should have it. But my car isn't even picking it up, so it's definitely at home. It's all right though, it'll be peaceful to actually not have my phone on me for a couple minutes, you guys. And uh, just want to say wow and thank you guys. The comments you guys leave me are so beautiful. Thank you so much. I Thank you so much. And you guys know I never ask. Like, uh, maybe you could do me a favor and just try to hit like or something. Just so I can see what it does. I think I've earned that after eight years of never ever asking. I just want to see like if it actually has any impact if it makes my likes more than normal I don't know what that does but all these other youtubers that I watch always say that, like uh, oh it really helps my channel and blah 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 helps the algorithm that's what they say it helps the algorithm so maybe you guys could do that for me I just want to see I'm afraid to like ask to subscribe too because I just want to ask for one of the things but if you guys are willing to hook me up on this video that would be great i would be super super thankful so for my first time ever hit that subscribe button and hit the like button hit the notification bell and share it with your friends <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm sorry guys i am so weird i am so weird it's crazy but yeah guys look at this look at this street look at how beautiful this is just transforms Big Bear City into just a, a heavenly place. It turns this whole mountain range into something special, you guys. I'm telling you, I can get through anything in life, anything, when the conditions are like this. Because it literally feels like, in my own way, that I'm in heaven. Mr. Snowplow. Mr. Snowplow, plowing the street. He plows the street better than me. All right, cool. And I'm not gonna be able to show you guys the map on this drive. I'm so frustrated. I am so frustrated, but it's okay. That would be a fun little street to drive up with all this snow. Oh, this guy's super awesome turning right here. Sweet, bro. Obviously, this is a, a weather type of channel. So, we're going to have a little break in the snow here coming really shortly, probably in the next 30 minutes to one hour. And then, once this evening comes, about 7, 8 o'clock, that's when our big push will come through. The biggest would have been yesterday, but it was all rain. So, if today continues to snow tonight without the temperatures rising like they did last night, we could get five to eight inches of snow tonight and then another three to five inches in the morning and then another one to three inches in the evening. Oh man, I love getting loose and squirrely on these roads. I'm telling you what, I am telling you what. So we're back on Big Bear Boulevard for a minute and then once we hit the traffic, Right, oh, there's the traffic. So we're gonna avoid this. We're gonna turn right on Big Tree and kind of turn around and go back to Greenway and pass all these people on North Shore. 
At least that's the goal. Let's see if it works out for us. We're gonna turn right here on Big Tree. This is where the airport is. I could take all the back roads back home just like we took to get here. As you saw, there was no traffic except for that snow plow for the most part. <coughs> but we're gonna take Country Club here. Actually, we'll take Fairway because it's right, right on the airport for the most part. There's the runway right there, straight ahead. Our little runway. And let's see. This is where I used to take jujitsu at Bear City Jujitsu when he was open all the time. I'll show you guys. Right there, Bear City Jiu-Jitsu Academy. It's my good friend, Jovan Godinez, who owns the place. The guy is so awesome, I love him to death. There was a lot of drama with one of our coaches there. He's in the Gracie lineage. He's a brown belt, almost a black belt. He's been doing this for many, many years, and uh, there's some seriously horrible drama. It was, it was awful. So it had to close for a little bit. There's the airport. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is so beautiful. I wish we had mammoth type snow though. You guys see how much snow they got? They got like over 400 inches already. All right, now we're gonna turn left on Country Club and take this to Greenway and then take Greenway up to North Shore. So this is Greenway coming up here at the stop sign. If I'm not mistaken, it says Highway 18. It's really weird how some of the roads work up here. But yeah, this is technically a connection between 18 on the North Shore to 18 on the South Shore. Definitely no one coming in and out today. shore if we turn right you're on highway 18 if you turn left you're on highway 38 I know super strange and it looks like there's some traffic here I'm not too excited to see that I was hoping we'd be able to avoid it all here but I thought wrong and some some people are moving today they're they're driving like champs I'm stoked to see that just remember you guys, don't ever speed up in these conditions when people are on your butt. I know we all want to appease everybody and be nice and not be in the way, but the best thing to do is just every time you have a chance, if someone's on your butt, just pull over and, and, and let them pass. Even if it's 10 times within one mile, just do that. Keep yourself safe. Don't start stressing out about anything because you need to not stress on these roads. You need to focus pay attention and just uh, just remember that accidents can be and are very frequent in these conditions. Yeah, that's what we got. 33 degrees. We're on West North Shore Drive, Highway 38.
it. The further we go this direction, the more snow we're gonna run into. As I said, we're not gonna go through Fonskin today, or not, not right now. I promise you we'll do that tonight when the really heavy snow comes in. When it's dumping out there, we'll take the whole tour around the lake. But right now there's a lot of people in town and it would just take us forever. And I'm really tired still. I just don't want my frustration building up. I have high blood pressure. Just, just found that out months ago. I'm a high blood pressure kind of fool. Yeah, guys. It's super good to have you guys here with me. Every time I hit record, it really does feel like you guys are right here with me. So I'm super, super grateful for that. So we're gonna take this to Stanfield Cutoff. This is one of the cut throughs right here on Division that gets from one side of the lake to the other or one from North Shore to South Shore would be more accurate because there is no lake right here. The lake's up further. And Stanfield Cutoff cuts through from North Shore to South Shore, but that's at the very end of the lake. One of my favorite neighborhoods in town. I think the neighborhood's called Bear Loop, but it's right on this beautiful prairie. It's just really, really pretty. They got some really nice homes in there too. It's called North Shore East. That's what it's called. The street name is called Bear Loop when you pull in, but it's called North Shore East. Yeah, it really is really pretty in there. crashed right here just on the other side of the road boom right there and that car will be back next week after being away for almost three months being fixed mercury insurance let me know that it was like seven thousand dollars to fix it and that's going to cost me a lot eventually here because they're doubling my insurance and i've never been in an accident or duis or anything like that i've never i don't have anything on my driving record and i'm 42 Here's a huge yurt, it looks like, but it's, I think, the elementary school. I wish I could go straight and have the courage to deal with all, all the traffic, but guys, it'll be intense once we get by the dam. Come on. You can do it. What is this person doing? Yeah, people just don't don't know how to drive up here. It's not easy, I'll tell you that. It's not easy, so I, so there's can't get upset, but people just don't know how to drive up here. And guys, you think I'm referring to you guys? I'm referring to the locals. Here's the lake. Yeah. And then the other side, it's so pretty up here. Oh my gosh. 
big mansions on the cliff right there. I really, really, really hope this lake is being impacted really good by this. Okay, let's take a look to the right and see if we're gonna go straight or not. Oh, we're gonna go right, yes, oh yes. See, we avoided all of this traffic right here. Every single one of these cars, we avoided it. Okay, this phone's about to overheat. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions about what's going on in town, I, if these videos don't, don't show you enough, don't hesitate to ask. I try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Usually it's like every hour I check my comments. Sometimes it goes a little longer, but very rarely. I always wanna make sure that I can keep you guys as safe as possible. Because once again, as I always tell you guys, without you guys coming up here, none of us get a chance to live here. <clears throat> you guys are the ones who create all the jobs and the necessity for jobs up here. So I love you a lot. I love you a lot. Thank you for allowing me to live up here. And I'm so sincere when I say thank you because it is you guys. You guys are the job creators up here. Thank goodness your name isn't government. <laughs> But yeah, guys, there's a few inches on the ground now. And the best is yet to come. If everything works out tonight, like they say, and it might, we could uh, have our biggest snow of the season. Which is kind of pathetic when you think about what the Sierras are getting. I don't even think they would have this as a forecast. They would just be like, oh, just another normal day in Mammoth another non-snowy day with like eight inches of snow. Crazy. Gotta turn this off because my phone is gonna overheat. My car told me that the vehicle ahead has moved. So if you're kind of like not paying attention, it's really cool that it lets you know that. You should be paying attention. It shouldn't have that feature because it's giving you a reason to not pay 100% attention, but. The weather outside is snow. Or actually, it's frightful. And this snow is so delightful. I hope all of you who came up here today or attempted made it here safely. Um, I always like you guys letting me know by leaving me a comment that you did make it up safe and sound because I do worry about you guys. I'm confident in you guys though, but I do worry about you guys. You guys have been so sweet to me, so nice to me. I always wanna be here for you guys. I, I, I just want you guys to just have a good time when you come up here. Unfortunately, this traffic is hard to deal with, but I know a lot of you are used to it because a lot of spots down the mountain, there's just nonstop traffic. I know I grew up in it. I grew up right near the uh, the 405 and the 5. And even closer freeways would be the 73 freeway, the toll road.
Hey, Shooter, want to go to Sizzler? Get some grub? What movie is that from, guys? I know you guys know that. I know you guys know that. <coughs> I hope I'm not coming down with something again because I just got over this freaking sickness I had. All right, we're going to make a left here. This is Moonridge Way. It's kind of a little little side street that dumps you off onto Moonridge Road. I just don't want to cut cut it cut anyone off like everyone else does. It ain't right, yo, it ain't right. Oh look at these piles of snow that we'll we'll get to drive through right now. Yay! Yay! Oh yeah. Come on now. It was fun. Here's all the traffic I'm talking about on Moon Ridge right here. It's it's pretty rough, guys. It's pretty rough. Look at this guy just pushing his way through. Jeez Louise. Jeez, have a little patience, buddy. Gosh. That's how I used to drive up here, you guys. But you know what? You guys are the ones who taught me how to not be such a jerk on the road. You guys would give me so much crap, but in a very constructive way. And for me, I can take criticism when it's constructive. But when it's being mean and talking down to, it just goes in one ear, out the other, and then I'll keep on doing what I'm doing exaggerated. So thank you guys for turning me into a much better man, because you guys really have. And you know what? There's not as much traffic on Moon Ridge coming this way now as there was. It was blocked all the way up to the roundabouts. And I was wondering why, because it's 11 in the morning right now, or 1118, so I figured that we'd be, we'd be good. Everyone would be at the ski resorts, parked, doing their thing, but no, that wasn't the case. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to be a little aggressive, you guys. And this is here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that made a lot of sense, lady. Okay, we're gonna go back through Moon Ridge a little bit because there's no traffic now. This is great. Look at the puddle. Let's see it, let's see it splash. Yeah, boy. So awesome. Oh, I'm loving it. Guys, this is gonna be so good for the lake. All this runoff, it's gonna be tremendous for the lake. So we're gonna drive through Lower Moon Ridge here. We're gonna turn right on Elm Street. For those of you who go to Bear Mountain all the time, if you don't wanna deal with all the traffic that's gonna be coming up ahead, turn right here. You'll see signs that say no, uh, no entry to the ski resorts usually. And please understand my local friends here. I'm not trying to like irritate you by helping our friends on this channel out. I'm trying to help us by helping these people on the channel. Because once again, without these people, none of us live here. None of us, because there'd be no jobs. Even though my job now has nothing to do with this mountain range, but because I'm always driving from like LA to San Diego doing what I do, but um, my boss slash partner, more my partner, he allows me like when we have our weather, he says, go ahead and and do that just make up the time when it's done so it's so you guys know like i i live the life i really do i am so grateful <laughs> i work my butt off every single day someone left me a freaking comment like oh it must be nice just to sit on your ass and take government checks and i'm and like that pissed me off so bad that pissed me off so bad i don't ask anyone for a penny you guys help me on your own like I, like, I don't ask anyone for anything and I wouldn't take any money from the government. I don't like the government. 
So that comment really pissed me off. Excuse my language, folks. I work very hard. I work very hard. So we're on a street called Willow, folks. And this is gonna drop us off on, um, what's, it, what's it called here? Club View, right across from the golf course. So we're being dropped off right across from the golf course and we're just gonna kinda drive by Bear Mountain. I hope it's not gonna be too insane with the traffic. But yeah, this is a shortcut to get to Club View, as I said, so you can avoid all of Moon Ridge Road right there. golf course to the left it looks so glorious oh my gosh it looks so glorious over there guys it's so pretty up here and I know I turn into just a total weirdo with these conditions but I can't help it <clears throat> as I said I can go through anything in my <clears throat> in my life that's not easy with weather like this <clears throat> it's just heavenly so we're getting close to Bear Mountain, you guys. So we're climbing up in elevation a little bit as well. As, as I said, getting close to the bigger mountains. So you're always going to get more snow over here. Always. It's without question. Yeah, they're okay. So the truck built for this weather is struggling. Guys, see, that's what you need to really understand is that it doesn't matter what you're driving up here. I mean, it really does actually. Like my car with my snow tires, you just cannot beat it. But in, in, in most cases, a lot of people have the right car, but it's just really tough to drive in these conditions. And this big old truck, look, he's stuck in this ditch, that poor guy. If I had my other white Subaru, my old one that I just crashed, I would offer him to put my bumper to his rear bumper and just push. Yeah, buddy. He got out. Heck yeah. Good for him. Good for him. I love to see these people succeed at this. And this guy might fall into that same trap. If he does, he's not getting out. You got it. E Flaco, Flacco, you got it, bro. You got it. Yeah, boy. It makes me proud seeing a lot of people who aren't used to these conditions actually taking control of it. Because once again, guys, this is not easy. Even if you have the right vehicle, it's not easy. So we're coming up to Bear Mountain right here. If you guys want a free sledding spot, don't ever forget this road, Club View. You want to pass Bear Mountain and just stay on this road until you get to the very, very top. And then there will be a, a spot that has a bunch of park benches and there's a place to park and you're not gonna have to worry about your kids sliding into the street. It's just, it's just a great situation for, for those of you Oh my gosh, look at that mountain. Look at the people coming down that mountain. Yes, 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 yes. So we're gonna turn left here on gold mine. There's not much traffic, yay. Piles of snow though, that's freaking awesome. Hi, 
miles or so high we couldn't see the damn damn resort <coughs> <coughs> Now we're leaving Gold Mine and heading back onto Moon Ridge Road. Oh, it's so pretty up here. Look at all this snow, you guys. It's so gorgeous. And just for you guys' information, I haven't slipped once. We took a couple turns hard intentionally to slip to have a little bit of fun, but we haven't slipped once. And these poor people are wearing their ski boots walking on the street here, ouch. It's the only thing I hate about skiing, even though I am a skier. Everyone, all my family and friends thought I would be a snowboarder because I was a really good skateboarder. But no, I chose the skiing route. this video uploaded fast enough for you guys so those of you who are coming up here will get start getting excited traffic is backed up all the way back then we are going to take the next street show you guys another shortcut I don't know if it's just people pulled over on halfway in the lane where it says no parking anytime for any darn reason get used to that up here you guys Get used to people not following the rules of the road up here. That's why you got to be extra careful. Because signs don't mean anything. Obviously, guys, if you're in trouble, you got to do what you got to do. But doing things like that, the reason why they have those signs, many reasons, but it's because our roads are super narrow up here. And they just don't want people crashing into each other and hurting each other. I really wish we had more areas up here for free snow play. Look at this golf course though, just so pretty. Full of snow, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's a cool snowman, look at that. They're building a nice snowman right there. That is so cool guys, I love seeing that. I love you guys so much. You guys come up here and leave snowmen everywhere and it is so neat. All right, so check it out. All this traffic's going on to Moon Ridge. We're, well, actually, no, it's not that bad. So we're gonna actually stay on Moon Ridge. We were gonna follow that guy in the blue Subaru. We're not gonna do that right now. I'm trying to really give you guys all the tricks of the trade up here. Um, I'll never stop doing that for you guys. Because as I said, a lot of locals get mad at me for that trying to help you guys out like that because you're driving through the neighborhoods and stuff like that just I know you guys are respectful people just drive and be respectful in the neighborhoods don't speed look out for kids and just have a great time and then come back again and again and again and again our freaking roundabouts Jeez. Okay, well our temperature dropped down to 32 finally, again. It got down to 30 last night, so it didn't get too low.
<clears throat> so as I said, guys, the snow's about to end in a few minutes here, and we're gonna have a little bit of a break for probably six or seven hours. And then we've got some big stuff coming in. Overnight through the morning will be the heavier stuff. And then as the day moves along on Monday, we will have uh, hopefully about a foot more snow. And then Tuesday morning, which you guys have made me feel really comfortable, but that's my Fox weather interview. It's a three to five minute segment on Fox weather. I am so nervous. But you guys are making me a lot less nervous with all your beautiful comments about how well I'm going to do and just be myself. And sometimes I worry about just being myself. <laughs> but yeah. So the roundabout's not really helping. There's two lanes here, but everyone's using it as one. That always happens up here too, you guys. Even on Big Bear Boulevard, when it snows, people drive in in, in the middle. <laughs> so it changes it from two lanes on each side to one lane. I hear an ambulance coming up to, they're definitely going to Bear Mountain. When I worked at Bear, you'd, they'd come all day long. The amber lamps. Wow. All of a sudden we got a ton of traffic over here. some really impatient people but I'm feeling that too see this is what I wanted to avoid but we came up this way because it looked there wasn't any traffic and we weren't here or away from this point for more than five minutes oh that was close that was close that guy's shovel almost nailed that white truck right there that white SUV Where are all these people coming from? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Everyone is so bitter right now. I hate seeing it, but. we made it anyway guys be prepared for a lot of upset bozos because it is rough up here we got to pull over let this let this guy by this person in front of us isn't pulling over what a moron jeez louise someone probably broke their bone or something up there we wish them well but yeah guys just be prepared for a lot of just, 
you know, maintain your positive attitudes because a lot of people are upset in these conditions and I can totally understand. I don't fault them at all. So, but just maintain your positive attitudes. You guys are positive people. And if you can stay positive, you're going to have a much better time dealing with all this traffic. Just get your buns up here and have a freaking blast. You guys take care. It's January 15th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. The temperature is 32 degrees and it's 1137 in the morning. Peace out, guys. I love you guys with all my heart.